Hello and welcome to another episode of Making Game Engine in Lisp uh, Devlog. So today is week 9 of 2024 and what I've been doing this week. So not much really, I was mostly working on the tutorials. So there's the first part of this tutorial I've done a while ago and I was actually working on improving that in terms of uh, macOS support. So I've added all of the changes from the template um, <coughs> I've done uh, previously, like for the template of my uh, common list game. Uh, so I've uh, ported those changes to this tutorial and now it works under macOS. So you can actually run, yeah, here's my emulator with macOS. So you can open that and that actually starts. And what, yes, of course, I would want to open that. I've just press the button. So yeah, that works. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it gives you like 13 FPS because the virtual machine, but it still works. Everything is fine. So yeah, that's that. So the changes for that are in the repository of this uh, tutorial. So you can have it there. As always, all the links are below this video in description. So yeah, that's that. And then I started working on the second part of that. So I think second part would be about some kind of dungeon cr crawler. So it would showcase the wonderful seal tiled uh, library, which um, allows you to read the of like the maps in the tiled format, the tiled map editor. Uh, so yeah, uh, it would show showcase that. And also, what would that be? And also, I think it would showcase the GUI library, the CL Libellegra Nuclear uh, library of mine. Uh, so yeah, I would showcase that and like show this uh, wonderful declarative interface I've implemented previously, like the previous week. So I've started writing that, just the, I've done the beginning, the intro, I think, and the, yeah. Uh, and then uh, I've picked the tile set I would be using. So I think it would be that one if nothing changes. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of the nice uh, tile set for a dungeon crawler, I think. So this dungeon crawler in this, um, tutorial wouldn't be that like complete uh, and everything with the enemies and all of that stuff, potions, so, like uh, all of the traps, etc. It would probably be just, you know, the walking uh, simulators. So you would just walk in this uh, dungeon and uh, at some points uh, of that it would be some uh, like text messages displayed with uh, the UI library, which would be like the I don't know, the text set by the uh, main character or something like that. Uh, so yeah, basically it would be very much like uh, one of my previous games called the, um, what is it called? Uh, sorry, one sec. So I've done this game before, so I, pr I would be just showing the, um, of how it was done. So the game is thought bound, right? So it would be just like this game. So you walk in a dungeon and at some point you see those like messages below, which kind of like show what the character says. And yeah, that's that. I mean, in this game, there also were enemies like that, but uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't be adding that into tutorial because it would be quite a lot to show. So yeah, I would focus to show on the specific stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I would leave all the links down below in the video description. And yeah, I would be working on this tutorial. So the second part would be probably out March, like before March or maybe early April. Uh, so yeah, that's that. That's all from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more, subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my Twitch channel. Uh, and yeah, that's that. Um, see you next week and bye.